Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, uh, we'll be seeing what is lamentization uh, process that is there in NLP. So uh, in the previous video, we saw what was the stemming process and why it is not accurate because uh, you basically have to get the stem and just by looking at the stem, you cannot understand what the semantics of that particular word actually would be. So in order to solve that, we have a counteract uh, process that is called as the lamentization. So in today's video, uh, we'll be seeing what is lamentization and we'll be also uh, seeing a small overview of what is the difference between stemming and lamentization. Okay, so let's begin. So uh, lamentization is nothing but the uh, process of finding the lemma of a word uh, depending on their meaning. Uh, it in turn helps in returning the base or the dictionary form of a word. So as you can see uh, a small diagram which I have kept on this side. So it's like people are uh, taking small jigsaw puzzles and they are joining. So this diagram can be viewed in two ways. So it can be viewed like people are joining these pieces together or they are removing out of this. Okay. So uh, when all the four people join this thing then uh, it makes a sense or if uh, one person is removing or one part is missing then uh, that doesn't convey any sense so it's where the lemmatization algorithm comes into picture so uh, thus as it is rightly said lemmatization is the process of converting a word into its base form okay so whatever its base is actually i mean uh, the stem so that can be easily understood or that process can be made more accurate only by using the lamentization. Okay. So uh, having talked about that, uh, we'll just go on to the difference between what is lamentization and stemming. So uh, just a small thing just to keep in mind, lamentization considers the tech context and converts the uh, word to its meaningful base form. So it can be considered uh, like a child who is there in a school uh, who doesn't, uh, doesn't speak something absurd. So he everything answers everything uh, dependent upon the context. Okay. And stemming merely is just the opposite. So it removes the last few characters often leading to incorrect meanings and spelling errors. So if you didn't understand uh, one particular word, then you might miss some words or you might uh, engulf some words inside and you'll speak partially about that. Okay, so that is nothing but uh, your stemming. Okay, so uh, the next part is which one to use. So ideally both should be used, but it highly depends upon the context where you're actually using this. Uh, but uh, in a general sense, lemmatization is more powerful than stemming as it takes into account the morphological analysis of the words. Uh, that means uh, how a word is actually formed from its stem and to what context it actually falls into. Okay, So in English language literature, you have different words uh, that sound similar. Uh, I mean the tone of the words are similar but they have different uh, meanings in different contexts. Okay, so in order to uh, be more uh, accurate in those kind of activities you have to do the lamentization process. Okay, and uh, in NLTK or in NLP we can uh, make use of the WordNet function uh, in order to make the lamentization process happen and now let's quickly move on to the uh, code counterpart how it looks like okay so so uh, this is the uh, code for that so I'm importing NLTK and uh, for doing stemming you actually need uh, any one stemmer algorithm so we already saw there were three stemming algorithms Porter stemmer then PS2 was there and you had the Lancaster and we saw the differences also. So here just for simplicity, I'm taking the very simple uh, stemmer that is the Porter stemmer. And uh, for lemmatization, you have to use the WordNet lemmatizer. So that is the by standard uh, lemmatizer which is present in 
uh, NLTK library. So first I'm making an object of this particular uh, class WordNet Lemmatizer as WNet and then I'll have two uh, simple examples that is two print statements just to make sure like it's not changing the meaning of the word or whatever input you have given it will give out the uh, output as it is. So I have uh, one uh, lemma where I'm lemmatizing a word scorpion and the second one is astrology. So if I run this you can see it gave out the word as it is. So there is no difference or actually you are not doing stemming but the word actually it is given out which actually has a meaning in the English dictionary. Okay. So uh, instead of that instead of giving tokens what I will be giving is I will be giving a tongue twister. So Peter Piper picked the peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? So it's difficult for me also but uh, we'll give it to NLP to do the process. So uh, that particular sting uh, is just for uh, tokenization or we are intended to do the tokenization for that. So uh, to tokenize uh, goes into word tokenize. So that is the method that we used to split that particular string into. So uh, tokenization contains a list of all the tokens of this particular entire string okay now uh, this is just to demonstrate uh, the working of uh, stemming how it actually works for this entire particular string so uh, I'm creating an object of the porter stemmer okay and uh, just a small uh, for loop uh, just for printing all the uh, individual uh, words and their stems okay so that is just by simple replacement operator we already know and the stemming actually happens at this process so this curly bracket will give you the resultant of that I mean the stem of that particular word so I'll just uh, run this okay so as you can see uh, it gave out the resultant of the stemming so stemming for Peter is Peter so uh, it just converted everything to lowercase then Piper is Piper uh, pick this pick so you can see uh, accurately just uh, trimmed off the root uh, then a is a peck is peck uh, off is off okay pickled is uh, now here it is not correct uh, it should be p i c k l e pickle then peppers this is correct uh, that is period operator i mean the period uh, how is how it converted to uh, lowercase then many many it is converted to something money so uh, m a n i so that's not correct uh, pickled is p i c k l uh, that is again uh, incorrect peppers uh, it has converted to pepper correct did is did uh, correct peter is peter correct piper piper correct pick is pick correct and question mark that is for punctuations it will not do anything for punctuations just for word because we are operating that thing on a complete word so punctuations won't come into picture punctuations are actually uh, your stop words so that will actually filter out for our process but this is just for the demonstration of the stemming now let's uh, look on to what the lemmatization process has to do so on the same thing I'll do the lemmatization so I'll just use the wnet object from this wordnet lemmatizer class and I'll just call the lemmatize function over the stem function and we'll just uh, look for the code what it is. So uh, we have already seen the uh, stemming uh, output now this is the lemmatization output so as you can see pickled is it's kept as pickled okay. Uh, the input was pickled but uh, the lemmatization process converted to pickled itself uh, then uh, you can't make out any mistakes because uh, it's perfect because everything seems to be perfect as compared to lemmatizing so that's why it is called as uh, more powerful as compared to uh, stemming because in stemming you have three different algorithms so they have different behaviors when you give different data sets so it will uh, work accordingly dynamically but in lemmatization it's not like that it's just a standard process for lemmatization for different tokens and for different strings so well that was all regarding a quick uh, overview 
or introduction of lemmatization uh, in NLP. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are watching this video for the first time please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.